please welcome Mike Morgan! All right, all right. How are you guys? Are you good? Oh, uh, good. I'm from Cork, so I'll talk very slow, OK? I'll try. I'll try. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, I just turned 30 years of age very recently. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting old. This is how you know you're getting old, right? When the shows you watched as a teenager are not on TV anymore. For example, for me, it was a show called Pimp My Ride. I don't know, do any of you, do you remember Pimp My Ride? For the, uh, for the foreigners, let Pimp My Ride anyway, right? And um, it was a show on MTV where a rapper called X to the motherfucking Z exhibit would take your beat up shitty car, take it to West Coast Customs, and you had no say what they did with it either. <laughs> They'd be like, yo man, uh, we put a fish tank in the trunk of your car, man. <laughs> it's like, I have my NCT next week exhibit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna pass now. It's a Nissan micro by you and you're after throwing a fish tank in the back of it, lad. Do you know what I mean? Like, nutter. And they'd always get something from your personal life and put it into your car like it means something. They'd be like, yo, man, oh, we heard you was a maths teacher, man. So what we did is we got two. Multiplied by two. Fish tanks in the trunk of your car, man. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had a van, <laughs> if you were a transit van, oh, they'd make up more, more room to mess around. Random reasons to throw shit inside your van. They'd be like, yo, man, oh, we heard you like um, burritos, man. So <laughs> what we did is we paid five Mexican guys to open up a restaurant in the back of your van. <laughs> it's like, if that's how he treats your car problems, what does he do with your real life problems? Stay away from the exhibit, do you know what I mean? He'd be like, yo, man, we heard you was really sad about your mother who passed away five years ago. <laughs> So what we did is, scientifically, we resurrected your mother's body and put her in a fish tank in the trunk of your car, man. <sighs> Bring him back. I miss him, man. I miss him. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I, uh, I don't have kids. Make some noise if you have kids. One guy has a super kid, the rest of you don't like your kids. That's fair enough. Uh, I'll hold on a while, so. No, uh, me and my girlfriend found out recently that we can't have kids. Um, yeah, financially. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough, oh, I'll be honest. I, to I, to I told the doctor my pimp my right joke, he was like, you're gonna have to write funnier jokes <laughs> if you want a baby, to be honest, like, you know. Uh, no, I don't have kids, I have a niece and a nephew, and I practice with them. I have a two-year-old niece, her name is Poppy. I love Poppy, but I don't like the way other adults talk to kids. It's very perverted and very personal. Like, you wouldn't ask kids what you ask adults. You wouldn't, like. I was with Poppy walking down the main street of Mallow, which is where I'm from, don't bother going, right? And uh, I was walking down the main street, and this woman came up to us, and she was there thinking I was her dad or something, Poppy's dad. She was like, oh, your child is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. What does she weigh? What does she weigh? What the fuck do you wear, girl? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> she want her beak and her eye band as well on top of it. Like, she, she, she's a Pisces, loves long walks on the beach. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then the next one gets even more perverted. It's like, how many hours is she sleeping at night? It's like, oh my God, stay away from me. Like, you know? And they always do that compare thing, thinking that I am her father. She was like, oh, she's her father's eyes. It's like, don't insult the girl at all. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Because our actual dad is cross-eyed as fuck. Glaucoma, does glaucoma everywhere, like, you know? I don't know why my sister went down for them, a state of the man, do you know what I mean? But anyway, <gasps> sorry, Bill. And, uh, <laughs> he's here tonight, folks. And, uh, uh, the elephant man. Anyway, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope this doesn't make it onto TV. And uh, <laughs> he's a big man, like. But anyway, I, like, and I only know how to talk to kids because of those moments, you know? Like, that's the only place I've learnt. Like, and I'm coming across very bad. Like, when is the cutoff point when you can stop asking kids what they weigh? When does that become inappropriate? Because I was at a 14-year-old's birthday party two weeks ago, and I didn't come off great at all, I'll be honest with you, you know? I went in, the mother of the house was like, hi, Mike, there's my son Luke, he's on the bouncing castle. He's 14 years old today. I was like, oh, <laughs> he's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> right, Luke A, what 
does he weigh? <laughs> she was like, eight and a half stone, why are you asking? And I was like, is he sleeping? What room is he sleeping in? Do you know what I mean? And then I got kicked out, it made no sense. I tried to do that compare thing after, I was like, he's his mother's hips, but fucking... <sighs> made stuff worse. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Mike Morgan, thanks very much. I'll see you soon.